A wedge resection of the lung is the least amount of lung that we remove when we're performing surgery for a cancer or a tumor nodule or a benign nodule. Whenever we don't know what something is inside the lung, often we'll remove it with what's called a wedge resection. And the wedge is just merely like cutting a piece of the pie out of the lung. You staple on one side, you staple on the other side, and the tumor is in the center. That's very good for metastatic tumors when we're taking those, those out, say for patients with metastatic colorectal cancer or sarcoma. When lung cancer is in the lung, we worry much more often about tumor spreading to the lymph nodes. The disadvantage of a wedge resection is that it doesn't allow you to take the lymph nodes that drain that tumor as you remove it from the lung. The advantage of a lung cancer removal with a wedge is that you're taking the least amount of lung as possible, and so you're sparing that patient quite a bit of lung function. And so you're constantly balancing, do I wanna take more tissue and do a better cancer surgery, or do I wanna take less tissue and give the patient better lung function? And as a surgeon, that's mostly what we struggle with. How much do we take? How much of a ca good cancer surgery do we do? How much can the patient tolerate? But a wedge resection is the smallest unit of lung that you can remove when you're taking it out.